everyone is feeling the winter blahs, we've got the perfect antidote. Please welcome Ricky Wilson. You are Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So good to have you back here. We've got Sarah and Kim modeling for us, and we're just going to talk about picking it up a little bit with yes. your makeup. How can you help us? And in the sub-zero temperatures oh. and not looking washed out. Right. So the first thing that I'm going to share with you is universal blush. Yeah, you know, okay. you always want to know, like, what blush to put with what lipstick. For me and my kid, I don't carry, like, 20 blushes. I just carry okay. two, okay? Oh, amazing. So I normally carry a pink and a coral. Yes. Based on what the client is wearing. Okay. So I want to give you some blush hacks right now. All right. So the first thing that we do is, if you want your blush to appear very natural, mm -hmm. I want you to start on the apple of your cheek, mm -hmm. but blend out towards the temples. So you don't okay. end up with these little circles on the cheeks, okay? <laughs> right. I'm not trying to look like yeah. Raggedy Ann. Right, and another thing is that this is a self-adjusting blush. So basically, it transforms. So you can wear this, I can wear this, and Sarah can wear this. It's oh, a really, really, really universal shade. Yeah. And I think that's all women need is like, you know, just a little bit of pink or orange based on what you're using. Now, yeah. what if the blush goes too strong? And that happens to the best of us. Right. There's some things that we can do. So the first thing is you have your foundation brush or sponge that you've used to put your foundation on with. Mm -hmm. Leave the excess foundation in there. Because yeah. if your blush goes too strong, you can literally take and just kind of go over it. So it's not removing it, but it's toning it down. It makes Got it look it. like it's coming from within. It's like a bit of an eraser. Like yes. it just takes it back a little takes bit. Takes the edge off. Yes. So you don't get in the car and look in the rear view mirror and you're like, yikes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. nice. All right. I like the idea of having uh, just a couple of blushes, though, because I find that that's a, that's a tough one for a lot of us to figure out the color. But yes. if you've got a universal, then you just go based on what you're wearing. If you want a little wearing. warmer or a little cool. Warmer or cooler. Very the other nice. tip that I have for blush is make sure that you don't get your blush too close to your nose. Yeah. You spend so much time taking away redness on your nose, why are you going to add it back? That's right. So <laughs> yeah. Don't do that. Okay. And the next thing that I want to move on to is the lips. Mm -hmm. So we were talking backstage and we were basically discussing how sometimes lip gloss can dry out your lips. Yes. Okay? Absolutely. So I have the perfect antidote and this is the Dior Lip Glow Oil. Okay. So it's not necessarily a lip gloss. Okay. It is a treatment oil. Yes. And basically what you want to do with this is slather it on. Okay. You can put this on in the morning time when yes. you're doing your skincare and throughout the day. Be generous with Be generous it. Generous with it. Nice. And it gives you a little bit of color. Yeah. It awakens your lip color. Oh, lovely. Takes away any dryness. So if it's cold, yeah. it's definitely not going to uh, dry out your lips. And I do find that when you're in the cold, your yes, lips need protection. Lip. So it's nice uh, to use something like this if yeah. you are sick of using a lip balm over and over and over again. So right. it's a nice alternative. Uh, we've got Kim here now. Hi. I believe we're going to focus on the eyes. Yes. Okay. So one thing a lot of people ask me is how they can wear color with confidence. Mm -hmm. So many people have the neutral down. Yes. And we started with neutral, but I just want to share with you some beautiful shades of the upcoming season. Okay, okay? so that's beautiful. Let's just get a shot of that. You see you've got the gorgeous yellows. Right. And, and some people might say that, look at that and say hello. Like, oh, no way. I don't. <laughs> I never. 1982. <laughs> right. <laughs> Help so, me. So what you right? can do is you can start with neutral mm -hmm. and you can add in pops of color. Okay. Okay. So that just shows you how to wear color with confidence. So we've already started with a clean neutral palette and I just want to show you by adding a few of these shades. Now the beauty about our five color eyeshadow palettes is that there's five shades. Okay. However, you don't have to use all five shades at the same time. No, you Let me certainly just have don't. You close. So basically, we're just taking this beautiful shade of pink, mm -hmm. and we're just kind of taking this across the eyelid. It's very pretty. And this just brightens up the eye just the right amount. Let me have you open for me. Lovely. So it's very soft. Yeah. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. And one thing that I have as a hack is if you are tired mm -hmm. and you know, you haven't slept or maybe you're under the weather or something like that. The color that I love to use most is yellow and orange on the eyelid. Oh, really? It doesn't look yellow or orange. It just really brightens up your eyes. Okay, very okay. nice. I love that. All it's right. all about the application, right? You put it on yeah. in such a way that it's beautiful and subtle. 